I have an intense connection with nature and all things natural. Our ancient texts, the Vedas, speak of one Vaibhav, which is the splendor of the forest. It is the splendor of the sun, the stars, the moon, the river, the birds, the animals. And we are all a part of this forest splendor. We need to stay connected with this part of ourselves or else eventually we will be lost. One day, we were actually creating a Mughal pattern, a cypress tree on a dinner set. And then one morning, I saw a little bird come and perch on top of a tree. And suddenly I knew that to make our cypress tree come alive, we have to put a little songbird perched on top. Relationship with Kudath has been a long one. We are a design-led organization. Our design team is very strong right now. We generally uh, work with a common theme in mind. We work a year in advance. We are very much inspired by our roots, our traditions, and our culture, and uh, our history. We take in all the influences around us, look for visuals, inspirations, historical references, and put it all together in a mood board which are set onto our products. One of our endeavors at Good Earth is to be able to work with those craft skills, bring them into a contemporary home, make them relevant to the way we live today, but continue giving them enough work, enough inspiration, enough design so that they can build on that craft, they can take it further. Luxury to me is about being surrounded by things which are natural, things which are handcrafted, things of high quality, with a certain style and a certain originality of design. Kutu's designs take reference from all that's gone before us. And of course, it looks to the future, it looks to today. It uses an idiom which could be pop, but the references come from tradition. They come from designs that went before us. And we just juxtapose them in a way that it makes it ours and makes it today.